Good morning, Andrew and Cindy. Yeah, we've actually seen a few fans. They have come stopped by on their way to work, uh, take a picture of Makita's. And we know this is uh, the location where young Dolph was shot and killed one year ago today. Many fans wanting to know why. Why would somebody do this and who would do this? And we would later uh, find out that information shortly after his death. When Memphis police, uh, they issued warrants for two individuals. It's just Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith uh, for first degree murder. Now, both are still inside the Shelby County Jail, having gone through months and months of hearings and resets before seeing a trial date. A third man now indicted, accused of playing a part in Young Dolph's death. And so now we're going to send it over to our Sydney Hawkins, who is live outside of 201 Poplar with more on this most recent arrest. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning to you, Ariana. Yeah, earlier this week, I got a chance to sit down with Shelby County prosecutors, including District Attorney Steve Mulroy, and I asked them if we can expect more people to be charged in this case. He said he couldn't share that specific detail of the investigation, but he did not rule it out. And the latest person to be charged. So the next block, because they have like a talk back. Govon. Govon is facing three charges, including a uh, conspiracy to commit first degree murder, first degree murder and criminal attempted first degree murder. The other men charged in this case are 24 year old Justin Johnson and 32 year old Cornelia Smith. Johnson and Smith are both facing six charges each in this case, including first degree murder, attempted murder, theft and more. I asked Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy where the attempted murder charge came from, and he told me that Young Dolph's brother was with him at the time of the shooting, so that's where that charge came from. The theft charge comes from the stolen car Johnson and Smith were allegedly driving. That's going to be that white Mercedes Benz, if you remember. All three suspects face a first degree murder charge, which comes with two possible punishments. That's life without parole or the death penalty. I mean, the charges are what the charges are, right? We've already uh, got the indictments in those cases, but in terms of next steps and whether we'd be seeking a notice of intent to use the death penalty or what kind of plea agreement we would agree to or sentence we'd recommend, um, I'm not at liberty to discuss that right now with an ongoing case. And Mulroy says he expects that the trial, there will be a trial next fall. Also got a chance to ask him about how involved young Dolph's family has been in this investigation. Uh, we'll hear from the sister actually later this morning, but Mulroy says that the family has been uh, heavily involved and they've met with Shelby County prosecutors several times throughout this long year. Um, he says also when there is a new update, they are the first to be alerted of that new development. Uh, prosecutors also say that young Dolph's uncle has been to every court hearing here at Shelby County Court. For now, reporting live at 201 Poplar, Sydney Hawkins, Action News 5. All right, Sydney, thank you so much. And we also wanted to see how you all are remembering Young Dolph. And for many people, that's, you know, simply through his lyrics, keeping his music alive. And so our Taylor Tucker, she went out to the streets to hear from you. Dolph, you know, he was like a legend in Castalia. So, you know, whereas you have every year Elvis month where people from all over the world, yeah. well, that's the way they look at Young Dolph. Always was fly. He stayed fly. The come up, the struggle, putting his own money to his own career and taking it to another level. To see him come through the city, you're going to see one of them cars come through the city. You know what I'm saying? He, he was for his community, man. You know, it don't get no better than this. Some rappers, they don't go back to their hometown. He actually do, he cares about his hometown. Young kids to the, his kids, what he talked about, he preached and folks listen. Dolph South Memphis legend, um, been putting on for the city for a long time.